So you want to learn how to create these scary AI effects for completely free? No matter what software you use to edit, well, I'm about to show you just that. They're actually pretty easy to make and I'll be going through everything step by step as usual. So just sit back and follow along. But before we get into it, I want to let you guys know that I'm Lurking Visuals and I run my own store where we sell editing assets and presets to help VFX editors just like you edit much faster and better. And we got some crazy presets and assets for both After Effects and Premiere Pro and also other packs for all editing softwares. And if you're watching this before Christmas, then I'm actually running a huge holiday sale. So if you want to go ahead and get one of my preset packs, they're heavily discounted during these next couple of weeks. So go ahead, save some time, save your money and check the link in the description for yourself. But let's get right into it. So I'm already kind of prepared. I got this crazy only be no music video and I already cut out the clip that I want to use for this AI effect. And it already looks like there is some AI on the background right there, but I'll do some on the subject. And right now I'm in After Effects if you can't tell, but you don't need to use After Effects. All I will do is simply just cut out the part that I want the AI to edit, which will be this clip right here. So all I do is just export that and then I'll see you guys when I'm on the website. So once I'm on the Pixverse website, all you really got to do is just press this import image slash video. And then you import your video right here and just confirm it. And then you can press effect down here. And here you have all of these crazy AI effects that you can create. And I've seen a lot of people use this kind of Venom one. So I'll just try out a few different ones. So I'll just start off with this Venom one, just select that one. And you can mess with the prompt if you'd like to. Once you create an account, you have 90 points to use. So you can create three scenes for free and then it will cost or you can just make a new account. So after typing in the prompt, this is what I got. And I mean, this is just crazy. And if this is something you're going for, then I guess you could go with this. And I would recommend that you upscale your clip or you could use another AI to do that. But I'll try out some different prompts. So I'll just import the video once again. And this time I'll try this out of frame one and just press create like we did last time. And after trying out this one, this is what I got. And I mean, that's kind of ass. I don't like that at all. So I'll just skip over that one and try again. So I'll upload my video once again and press confirm. And I guess I'll try out this muscle one once again. And I won't mess with the prompt this time. But if you'd like to, you can go ahead and try that out. So after trying out that muscle prompt, this is what I got. And I mean, this one is also crazy. And you can also speed it up because it was pretty slow at the end. But I'll do that in post when I add it into After Effects again. So I'll just download this one and just name it Muscle and then save it. And then I'll actually try out one last prompt because this one also seemed crazy. So I want to try that one out. So after trying this prompt out, this is what I got. Once again, it's not the best, so I won't go with that one. So I guess I'll just stick to this Muscle one and the Venom one that we created earlier. So I'll drag them both into After Effects and I'll spice them up. So let's jump right into that. So we're in After Effects right now. And first off, as you can tell, we got the watermark up here at the top right corner. So to get rid of that, what I'll do is just grab the pen tool, mask out the watermark just like this. And then hide all the other layers and press M and invert your masking and press this transparency tool right here. Now what I'll be doing is creating a content aware field. So just press right here. If you can't find your content aware field button, just go up to window and press content aware field. And then just set up your work area like this. And I'll keep the settings like this and then just drag it down. So I, I can see the generate field layer and just press that button. And now as you can tell, we've completely gotten rid of the watermark up there. It just looks a lot better. And that's one way you can get rid of that or you could just zoom in your clip, I guess, because it does mess up sometimes as you can tell right there. And if you'd like to fix that, I guess you could just by like masking out the background and right here and just messing with it for a little bit. But I feel like that's a little bit too extra, so I won't go through that. Instead, I'll just pre-compose these two into one layer. And as you can tell right here, it goes a little too slow. So right here, when it turns into this Venom, I'll cut it right there. Go to time stretch and speed up the video a little bit to like 60%. If I play through right now, this is what we got. And that's cool. I like that. And to spice this up, I'll be dragging on some of my presets. 
So I'll just try out a few different ones for my opium presets and I'm probably going to use the add-on one. So I'll just try out this black and white too. And I guess you could go for something dark like this. But I'll try out but I'll try out a few different ones and see which one I like the best. And I'm actually a huge fan of these two. And both of them actually look crazy. I guess this one is more simple. But I think I'll go for this dark VHS look. Maybe turn down the blur a little bit and then go with that one. But I also got something great out of this one. Oh yeah, I'll probably go with this one. So I'll just cut the adjustment layer right there. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's pretty simple, but it also looks really good. It gives a gives a unique style. So I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, check out my packs that I got linked in the description to speed up your workflow, save some money, and also support me as a creator. I appreciate all of you guys, and make sure to follow me on IG. I'm trying to reach 10k over there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.